They finally did it, y'all. Now, we recently made a video about the Watchers and how bad and horrible their goodbye video was. And a lot of y'all seem to like that video, man. I appreciate that, guys. I appreciate the support. But for some of y'all that didn't watch my last video, the Watcher basically went over this entire um situation that they're in about switching platforms and not being on YouTube anymore because YouTube don't pay the bills. We are relying on ads to make money, to pay the bills, to run this office, to make beautiful content for all of you guys out there. Unfortunately, over time, the deals that we were getting in 2019, 2020 are looking a lot different than they are today to make the stuff that we want to make and also then appeal to the advertisers as well. It costs a certain amount to make content in the way that we do it. In doing so, it, it does cost a certain amount. So the boys needed more bread, all right? We get the whole idea. But the thing here is, the video did not go down as they expected. A lot of their fans hated this video. Um, Everybody on the internet basically hated this video. It just seemed insensitive towards the people that have given them so much support over the years. I keep returning to this video, not to watch, but to read the comments. How to kill a successful media venture in less than 15 minutes. I reckon that the council has made a decision. But given that, it's a stupid ass decision, thanks to Heli right here. So the consensus from this video was extremely negative. And hey, thanks to you guys, we've gotten the response that we need from the watchers. Because like an hour ago, maybe an hour or two ago, these guys decided to put out a video, an update video, to basically go over the entire thing and uh, make it more clear for their viewers. And that's what we're about to do today, okay? We're about to go over their update video and see exactly if they actually um fix the problem that it caused and can we actually go into the future looking at the watcher as uh, people that you should be subscribed to and people that you should actually give your time and money and, and attention to hey everyone last friday we announced that we're leaving youtube and launching our new streaming platform we messed up a lot of you spoke out with extremely valid comments and concerns and we want to take the time now to address those we've been reading the things you've been saying and we're sorry for the way we handled this, as well as the way we communicated it. We understand where you're coming from, and we're making immediate changes. First, we want to affirm that you are the reason why we've been able to do anything at this company. You helped us every step of the way when we left BuzzFeed to start Watcher at the top of the pandemic in 2020. You've supported us in so many ways by watching our content, attending our live shows, buying our merch, becoming members of our Patreon, and giving words of encouragement over the years. Uh, and we are incredibly grateful for your support. We're sorry for how we originally delivered our goodbye message to YouTube. It was insensitive. We didn't properly express how much we appreciate all of you. And we did a really bad job of explaining the reasoning behind this transition. So as much as it is easy to sit here and try to hate on the watcher, I will actually give them credit because they started that video, first of all, apologizing to the audience. They start the video taking accountability for the action that they have done. And I applaud that, okay? Like people make mistakes, everyone on the internet, nobody's perfect, Zor is 100% not perfect. And the watchers are able to take responsibility for their actions. They're able to see that they weren't sensitive, didn't consider their viewers as much as they should have. Now in the next part of the update video, they're gonna go over um, the changes that they're gonna try to make and implement into the system, right? So they're still gonna keep the new streaming platform that they're gonna be on, but they're making some changes that will go down a little better with your audience. With that in mind, we're making some changes to ensure that there's a way for our community to continue watching our content for free. If you wanna watch our shows early and ad-free, you can catch them on the Watcher platform a month earlier. After that, you'll be able to watch our shows on YouTube for free. For those that have already subscribed to the platform, we are so grateful for your support, but if this change has you rethinking your membership, we will issue a full refund. And all past episodes and series will remain available on YouTube. <sighs> Nice. So there's nothing really wrong with that. They made the decision to move over to another platform because they really, really needed the money. Okay. And if they're doing something like this to still give their viewers some content, I do applaud that. That is something that they're doing for their audience. I mean, you're obviously still going to get some ad revenue. You're still going to get some sponsorship on YouTube. So at the end of the day, you can still say that they're just, they're doubling the bread that they're making at this point. Um, I think they learned from my last video. Now, the next part of 
the video is pretty uh, important because they're going to go over exactly why in the first place they decided to uh, make this choice, right? Why would you go down the route of starting your own platform? Because it really didn't make sense in the original video. So let them clarify and then we can yap about it. As for the question of why we decided to launch our own platform, when we started Watcher in 2020, we wanted to create shows that we were proud of that we had ownership over and that would provide you the caliber of content that we felt you deserved. However, we were finding it harder and harder to stay relevant to advertisers and the constantly changing YouTube landscape. We faced some incredibly challenging decisions. We didn't want to compromise our content to ensure they met advertising requirements. And we definitely did not want to lay people off that have brought Watcher to life behind the scenes. And we didn't want to bring Watcher to a close. Please let me know if that made sense to y'all because it really didn't, right? These guys, they get millions of views of video. I know the production cost is crazy, right? I don't know all the details about the economics there. You can go to an advertiser that fit your style of content, especially with the amount of influence and the, 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 the amount of popularity that you guys have. I would assume it would be easy to find advertisers that kind of really don't um, see your content as a negative way of seeing their product. I think there's a lot of advertisers out there that would love to have you guys advertise their stuff on your platform, man. Like, it's not that crazy, man. I, I don't know why. Am I just dumb for not seeing how much influence these guys have and how much more money they can make off of YouTube? Like, is there something crazy about this site? Is there something pushing them towards this site? Like, who's the Steven guy? Like, I don't really know much about the watcher, but y'all are talking in the comments about this dude, Steven, that could be the problem here because it's kind of dumb, bro. Y'all don't need an extra website. So for the remainder of this uh, update, they basically just apologize to their fans and apologize to their Patreon fucking members, people who actually pay money to these motherfuckers and they were acting like they didn't have Patreon supporters, bro. That's why they lost hella people from their Patreon because it's, bro, your website that you're building is basically, it's kind of, it's kind of like Patreon. Am I capping? Right? You can give exclusive content out there to people who pay more for it. This is literally what you're doing now. Like, and the thing is, you're going to bring the content to people on YouTube for free anyways in a month. Now, I'm going to let them actually do the apology for real, for real, like the end apology. And then we close out, man. And then you guys can let me know your thoughts at the end. We overlooked the way it would impact all of you. Uh, we hope you'll be patient with us through these mistakes. And we remain incredibly sorry that they were made in the first place. We also want to directly address our Patreon community, who have played such a key role in supporting us from the very beginning. All current Patreon members will receive a free subscription code to the platform. If you already purchased a subscription, please contact us and we will issue you a full refund. We look forward to continuing to make shows and introducing all the incredible things that we've got planned for the platform. Blah, 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 blah. They apologize, y'all. Hey, I don't think these guys' career are going to be destroyed like every YouTuber is making, it seems like. All right, they're going to be fine. It's the Watcher. Their their fan base are going to love them. Like, people are saying the ex V employee, the three guys on the Apology Couch pipeline is insane. This took guts, you guys. The video aligns with the level of integrity and transparency. I've come to expect from y'all. I'm glad you guys are still in touch with that. Excited to uh, still be able to watch. Uh, just please remember the audience is here for you guys, not the high budget production. Literally, man. Three guys on the couch always means some shit went down. Hey, man, these guys are going to bounce back, all right? Well, there's no hopeless view uh, perspective over here at Zor, okay? The watchers are gonna figure it out and they apologize to their fans. We gotta give them that. They made a mistake and they're taking accountability for it. Uh, but the important thing here is, guys, I think I'm a little confused because their website or their service that they're going to promote right now seems like an extra level of Patreon. Like, I don't really see the big difference between that and Patreon. I just don't, right? Because you're just getting people to pay for extra content earlier. That That's just what it is now. Whew. Let me know your thoughts down in the comments um, about this whole situation. Without further ado, bye-bye. Peace. Mwah.